there, and Trat Magua here coming at you with yet another 12-year-old react and the reaction to a new champion. This time, we're on schedule. No, we're not coming in 24 hours later as we're going to be reacting to Seraphine. Seraphine is a champion that I actually do know. <laughs> it's been a while. Like All the new champions that have been revealed as of late, I have known nothing about. But Seraphine, I do because we did get the KDA package a while, quite a while back. Like, those cards have been in the pool for quite some time. I, I think it was like after Rising Tides, perhaps, before Call of the Mountain. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's been a minute since we've had them. And I think Seraphine's going to be PNZ because the card that's attributed to her from the KDA package is Give It All, where she's holding the... Is it the microphone or... Yeah, it's, it's a microphone in the air. Uh, so it's a PNZ card. Even though Kaisa is out the way, is Targan, uh, which is not where she ended up. It, it's safe to say that Kaisa was a champion that... It's not technically Shuriman, right? Like she fights in the void and stuff. So yeah, I think PNZ is going to be the, the case for Seraphine. I'm not expecting another Runeterra champion, especially when we're getting three champions. I don't expect them to be like two Runeterra champions and one regular champion. So, uh, yeah, that's where my money is at. And I'm going to stop rambling at this point. Let's just uh, make sure we're recording. Okay, good. <laughs> we got past that test. And now, let's actually... Yeah, PNZ, 100%. Let's actually do this, because we did not do this last time. Like, last time was an absolute disaster. Then I blamed that on, on Rust or whatever. All right, let's see what Seraphin is all about. Uh, again, I, I think sh she was in TFT, right? I played her quite a bit in TFT when I dabbled into it, like in set six. And uh, she had this sort of like AoE attack. So maybe she buffs your units or maybe she does AoE damage of some sorts. What I do know, I mean, I don't know, but I really, really assume is that she's not going to synergize with equipment, even though she's, she's handling a guitar. So I'm already kind of... Uh, yeah, I, I think I may be wrong on that, but I really think she's... Is she, is she just going to be another equipment champion? Probably. Well, let's just... I have no fucking idea. Let's just see. <laughs> let's just set up and see. Fix my stage first or my lyrics. So much to do. So little time. All right. Seraphine is a two mana one four, just like Zillion. When I'm summoned, create a random new... Two cost spell in hand. Level up. You've played six new spells this game. Uh, so new. We've seen this with the uh, the back alley barkeep, right? What new means? Is it's a card that you haven't played before. So essentially, you have to play six different spells to level her up, which is not. I don't think it's that difficult of a level up requirement in the right build. The RNG effect, it, it gives me Nora vibes. And I do feel like Nora has a little bit too much RNG going on for her. Uh, this is not, like, I don't know why they, can, they can't, like, limit it to the regions, you know? I, I think that, that would just be significantly better. Now, this could be from, like, any, a two-cost spell that you haven't played prior. And it could be from any, re it could be anything, right? So, yeah, she's, uh... She's RNG incarnate. Okay, let's let's see. Let's go continue. Only a few days till the show. I got this. Okay, we got we got some synergy. Come on, there's ballistic bot synergy. All right, center. Yeah, you attack with her. Okay, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. With the flow, so they're they're showcasing PNZ and Iona together. How about a duet? All right, well, we're gonna level up eventually, right? Sing it with me now. Seraphine, Seraphine. There we go. Seraphine, Seraphine. Now let's really bring it. Uh, of course, he has a KDA anime. All right, when I'm summoned, created and ran a new cost, two cost spell in hand. When you play a new spell that costs two or less, copy it with this. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're, oh my God, two mana karma. Two spell or two cost spell karma. English. All right, that's actually really, that's really interesting. That's a very, very, very powerful. That's one of the most powerful level up, like, power bursts. Or I, I, don't, I don't know how to 
how to describe it, but essentially like two drops leveling up don't tend to, don't tend to reach this level of power. Even though we have stuff like Lucian, we have uh, Zillion obviously, which is also pretty damn strong, but this is like this is the next level, like being able to duplicate your two cost spells. They have to be new though. Like that's that's the restriction. Like you're you're gonna I mean maybe like a Seraphine I think we have the pool to build a, a legit like Seraphine deck with uh with Cataclysm. Or no catastrophe like the, the cat, the one mana <laughs> catastrophe, I think it was the one mana 30 30 overwhelm cat, you know, the, the pursuit of perfection card, right? That could work with that, but that's really strong. Deck building is gonna be clunky though. Okay, we're, get, we're getting like a pop song for this. Karma. Two mana karma. Just buffing for days. I would have kept that. I would have kept that buff in case they had something to finish her off. Like a single combat or, or something. So misplay by by Riot. Gonna be strong for your friends. Hi Seraphine, I'm Ellie. I'm your biggest fan. Okay, bye. Hi Ellie, I'm your biggest fan. Okay, bye. <laughs> nah, she's lying. <laughs> That's a lie. The fan club president. Okay, I, I, I like that. Da, da, da. Got a list! What a spicy list. No! Yeah, that, that extra mystic shot was not necessary, but yeah. Good showcase. Good showcase. Misplays and <laughs> not exactly lethal. Terrible. Four out of ten. All right, so we got Seraphine's high note is her signature spell. Naturally, it is a two mana spell, uh, which anything else wouldn't really make too much sense. Deal two to a unit. If you played six other new spells this game, deal. Okay, so I was talking about the, the the new card yesterday that pings twice for two mana and how it could compete with Mystic Shot in certain scenarios. But with high note being a card, like now it's just like we have like a bunch of different versions of Mystic Shot essentially. If you played six other new spells, you deal one to another unit. So you deal, you ping for two and you deal one. If Seraphine's leveled up, then it's kind of nuts because for two mana, you're dealing four damage to something and two damage to something else. And you're hitting them consecutively, which against tough is worse, but against other shit is ultimately better, like Barrier, for example, right? Uh, we have the Fanny Club President that manifests a spell that costs five and sets its cost to two. That is dope as hell. Wow, that is really cool. That is really cool. Oh, that's a that's a cool follower. Oh man, that that's that's really neat. I I, I like the design of this one. That's pretty deep. That de <laughs> pretty sweet. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> Crowd pleaser. All right. Give an ally plus two attack and quick attack this round. Flow create a new two cost spell in hand. All right. So a. A buff that can be pretty, honestly, really solid on its own. Like, giving something plus two attack and quick attack on top of that. Like, that makes blocking against PNZ really scary all of a sudden, right? Because it's giving something quick attack just means that it's not taking any damage back. So, all of a sudden, like, you can get, like, a trade that's not even going your way at initially. Like, not only are you winning the exchange, but you're taking no damage in response. Like, that's a very powerful effect and yeah it's not as good defensively right but you're still giving plus two attack and it has even more potential with the flow mechanic that's just a really good card all around i feel like there's no way this card is just providing a lot it's doing a lot for just two mana inspired plans two mana equipment for pnz create a new two cost spell in hand and give it fleeting Every time you attack, you give plus one, plus one. That's pretty damn decent as well. Yeah, these 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 really help out with Seraphine. And maybe you don't have to build a deck like, you know, you don't have to just build a Pursuit Perfection deck to make your work. That's a really, really neat design as well for it. 
Uh, it's it's a lot of RNG though, like it's 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 more of Nora again. Uh, but at least the fam club president is manifesting, and I'm I'm always more of a fan of manifest than just straight up create something random. Uh, so I'm I'm not super eager, like super excited about just all all these cards that are just making random shit because Runeterra is a game that drags out over it. Games last long right i mean for card game standards like you have pretty long games on average in in legend of Interior. like you invest going back and forth so adding too much rng too much variance will make uh losses and uh just yeah just rng that wins the game will make it extremely frustrating right so i i, I think they may be going a little bit overboard because i'm already getting those vibes from nora to be honest even though i do like the decks that she's a part of um i'm i'm not really on i'm on the fence with the amount of, of rng that we're getting added onto the game you know like i'm not one of those persons that's just like oh rng is bad it depends on the game it depends on the length of the matches and uh it's it's still good uh in, in many ways right but it has to be implemented responsibly in a game like legend of runeterra and i feel like it's getting a little bit out of hand just saying then again, uh, it's two mana spells, you know, like it's not like they have the most impact on their own, right? So it is better than, but you know, I don't know. It, I'm, I'm, what do you guys think? Like, I, I think this is an important discussion to have. Like, how do you guys, how are you, how are you feeling about the, the level of RNG being uh, brought in lately? Because uh, I, I do, I'm, I don't, I don't, I can't really say I'm okay with Nora and uh, the portal uh, mechanic, you know, it's fun. But I feel like it should be more controlled, you know, like the, the pool should be smaller. I don't know why they can't just limit it to the regions you're playing. I, I think that would make it more consistent and, and, and ultimately better. But you know, it also would make portal decks different depending on which region you combine them with. But I don't know. That's just, uh, that's just my opinion. Then we got the Acorn, the Hex, te Hex Technician. <laughs> that's, that was a weird one. One mana, one, one with Elusive. Next is Strike. Reduce the cost of the most expensive spell in your hand by one. Holy crap. Holy crap. Hex is uh, pretty good. Pretty damn good. It is, is, it is a permanent uh, reduction, obviously. And yeah, it's, that's honestly really solid. For a one drop, I, I, it's not Vistayan Disciple levels, I think, by any means, but it is definitely pretty good, I think. The Spirit of Wuju, Ionia, flow. I cost it less when I summon draw a spell. I saw this card uh, yesterday in the reels yesterday, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. The Zon Diva, it's 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 pretty good. You know, like a lot of the cards that Ionia are, are getting are really good, and I'm concerned that they're a little bit too good because <laughs> the region is not. In need of uh, more OP shit as of now. The Zon Diva is a re I I love like this card already. Like I love the art. I love the title. I I love the I mean the stat line. I guess is cool. Deal one to all enemies. If you played six new spells this game, deal three instead. A nuke, a one-sided earthquake with a seven-five body. That's pretty sick. You can't use spell mana for it. But that's pretty sick. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it has to be good. It, it has to be good. Because we have seen in, in some darkness variants, uh, we have seen the uh, Decinata being played, right? And this is like more consistent than Decinata. It's not better statted, really. Yeah, it's pretty all right. It's, it's not going to be a 3 of, I think. But I, I think to have it as a one-off in the deck is is definitely a, a consideration. Depends on the meta, you know, how, how wide people are going, right? Like, if the meta is, like, a lot of, like, Lee Sin and, and shit that just focuses on, like, particular units, then this sort of effect is not very powerful. But against decks that swarm, this is, uh, you know, a wondrous AoE effect. Like, we already know. It's essentially, like, uh, the, I mean, we know the it that stares, right? But you're not hitting your own shit. Which can be pretty important, you know, to not murder your own units. Let me actually disappear for a moment. Drum solo, five mana, draw two with flow, reduce those cards, cost by two. Yeah, that is crazy. Is this like the PNZ Eye of Nagagaboros? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, this card is, uh, this card's bananas. This card is like it's not giving you a body, but if it, in in the right deck where you can achieve flow, like, oh my god, you could like yeah, you're drawing f for one more mana, but then you're reducing the cost of whatever you draw by two, and if you just drawing the two mana cards, 
And and that's like a low end. You're getting them you're getting to play them for free. That feels that feels just really damn good. No way it's not. You can even manifest it with fan club president because it is a five mana spell. So all in all, like I, I think it's gonna be very fun to play Seraphine. Um it's it is I, I do believe she's gonna be frustrating though. Because you're you're not going to be able to play like if you run into a Seraphine deck, you're not going to be able to play around anything. Like you essentially there's no like, oh, do I play around like a uh like they could have single combat. They could have like all sorts of different uh, cards, you know, like drain effects, you know, like there's there's just so many, so much variety for two mana spells that uh, you're not going to be able to anticipate anything and you're just going to have to adapt to what's thrown at you. And, uh, you know, that's, that is uh, something that, it's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, right? Like it can be very, very fun to play, but it can be very frustrating to go up against. So we'll see just how, how good she ultimately um, ends up being. She has a very powerful payoff as, as she levels up. But, um, you know, her initial form is a little bit underwhelming. Um, and she is creating you a very random card. So you don't really, like, you can't, you have no control whatsoever over what you get. And that definitely, um, you know, hinders her a little bit. I mean, one could argue that, that her being more consistent would make her too good and, and too toxic. But I, I don't I don't agree that's the case. You can always uh, tweak the numbers and, and the level up requirement. Not only the stats, but on everything, right? Uh, I, I would like to see her be more controlled in that sense, but she she looks really dope. Though. Like I'm, I'm definitely excited to play with her, uh, but I'm I'm also I, I think fan club president, fan club president has to be my favorite card of this review. <laughs> Just I love everything about it. Fantastic. So I'm I'm gonna end it here. What do you guys think? I, I know I went a, a bit of a, a ramble on on RNG and variants, but I think it's an important discussion to have. I I think we we have been more and more ever since Bandle City came out, like we've we've been more and more headed in that direction. And uh lately it feels like it's it's uh you know, the developers are, are getting unhinged on it, you know, like I, that probably doesn't grammatically make any sense, but whatever. Like they they're they're going pretty hard on it. Like with Nora and now this. We'll, we'll have to see. You know, it's fun when it's a fun deck, but when it's like a really good deck, it, it, it stops being that fun in my opinion. So let me know what you think. Uh, you, you could agree or maybe disagree completely. Maybe you think that all oh, this is going to be going to make the make the game like much better. And I'd love to have that discussion. So let me know in the comments down below and I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Hope you like Seraphine, I'm excited for the thumbnail, personally. I already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is a pretty easy one. And uh, yeah, I'll stop rambling. Love ya. This whole day. I'll see you tomorrow.